Hey everyone, um, if you're new to my channel, then you might not know that we start off with um, making a formula which is in percents and then trade out and transferred out to a weighed out recipe. So that's the formula. Um, I am starting off with distilled water first. I actually get my still di di distilled water from Walmart. Water is going to serve as a hydrator to the skin. Next, I am using Rose Hydrosol, which provides light moisture and cooling hydration. It also has anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, um, which can provide relief for the suffering from irritated skin, acne, eczema, and psoriasis. So going into phase B, I am using glycerin, which is a humectant, which is going to draw the moisture into the skin. You guys, I totally forgot to even record me weighing out the, the uh, xanthan gum, but the xanthan gum is going to serve as a thickener slash gelling agent. Um, so you're going to see later on in the video, the product gets a little jelly. That's where we get the thickening um, and the gelling agent from the xanthan gum. Um, I'm mixing it in the glycerin just so it can help distribute the um, ingredients into the water phase next i'm adding allantoin um and you guys are going to see in the formula that i put it in phase a and it's definitely i would definitely suggest you put it into the water then adding it with the glycerin and the xanthan gum because it's a total yeah you're gonna see towards the end but anyways allantoin is considered um an effective moisturizing ingredient um and then it's also gentle non-irritating um uh and it also has um anti-aging um in it for those with sensitive or easily uh irritated skin um it also prevents um dryness rough um scaly itchy skin and minor irritations such as like diaper rash skin burns from radiation therapy um it's a great emollient um which decreases itching and flaking after adding those ingredients in i mixed it um you guys this is my first time using allen toyn by the way and let me tell you do not place it with the like the little xanthan gum and the glycerin no like i definitely did not like the way it looked like the product was still a success i just would do things differently basically um i didn't like that I didn't like it at all but anyways going to phase C which I am using copro copro glucoside is which is a mild solubilizing non-ionic surfactant that is obtained from um, fatty alcohols and also glucose from vegetable origin and it's also eco cert friendly um, for the ones that want to make sure they're formulating with eco uh, cert products. So next I am using Liquid Germo Plus, which is going to serve as a preservative. This is not, um, this is not eco cert friendly. So if you want an eco cert friendly uh, preservative, this one is not the one. I will actually, I did edit and it's actually um, on my channel. It's just not public yet, but I do have a video uh, regarding um, eco cert friendly um, preservatives. But um, I won't be posting it until like later. I do have it um, planned out. Make sure you guys place put on your um, notification bells so you guys would know when um, that video is out. So as you guys see me mixing the xanthan gum, the glycerin, and the allantoin into the water phase, you guys, I had a terrible time. Like I was stirring and stirring and stirring. Um, these ingredients and I'm like oh my gosh like 
this is terrible i really thought that it was not going to work so i did have to let it sit and hydrate um later it did start it getting thick um and then i was just like well i guess it's going to hydrate like when it sits for 24 hours so i was like okay i'm good um i can go to the next stage but you guys see those clumps like that's why I say just add the Allentoin into the water phase instead of doing what I did. Um, next, I am stirring in the glucoside, which is the surfactant. Um, and um, as you guys see, I'm stirring really slow. You don't want to stir too fast because then you start activating the um, agent, the foaming agents, and it like doesn't work once you're actually using the cleanser um when i say it doesn't work it doesn't work effectively um so just make sure you're stirring in really really nice being gentle but stirring in the product as well and then also this is a low foam like it has some foam in it but it's a low foam and then you guys i totally forgot to even add the bamboo extract which is what i'm doing right here um bamboo extract is a moisturizing um extract it also has antioxidants and it also has something called silica in it which um basically keeps the um skin and hair silky and shiny it is also um very great for um acne prone skin so you might see a lot of korean skincare using this and that's because that now i am weighing out um the concoction to check the ph of the product if you don't know how to check your ph make sure you click that i on the top and it will show you um, a video where you can go to to check the uh, product ph and get some more information about that obviously it was 7.94 um, and that is not okay the ph of the skin ranges from um, 4.5 to 5.5 so i did um add citric acid to go ahead and um decrease the um product ph i also noticed that i did not record me uh placing the uh preservative in the uh product but i did do that i don't know why i forgot you guys i was all over the place with this video it took some days to record um but this is the consistency of the product it looks really really nice and it smells amazing um and then here's me using a three point um three ounce bottle i said two ounce because that's what i was going to use originally but i couldn't find any of my two ounce bottles and i'm just like well let me use this i did buy this bottle from walmart from their travel section um when i was going uh uh, out of town and I still had some left this is how the end product looks it looks amazing look at that look at that looks amazing very luxurious looking um, in this clip I am showing you guys how it like foams up again because it only has capital copper copper glucoside um, which is a mild um, surfactant so it has like low foaming agents um, I know cocoa glucoside has a nice nice lather if you want um, more lather this was actually okay for me um, it wasn't too much it wasn't too little um, and this is exactly how it looks so it definitely foams and it definitely does the job I have been using it on my skin and I really really love it on my skin um, and the product smells amazing um, especially with that rose hydrosol in there uh, it's, it's very refreshing but um, I did make a batch for my boo and um, this is like me showing you guys me putting the allen toy in the water phase it definitely came out very different this is exactly how it looked there was no clumps when you're formulating with xanthan gum it's like little knots until you let it sit for a couple of days and then it gets like more of a jelly consistency um and then this is the after 24 hours of letting the product sit and i was just showing you guys how it looks and then i just put a label on his i made it all fancy 
and um, gave it to him and I really really like this one more than I like the one that I um, formulated before because of the Allen toy being with the xanthan gum and the um, glycerin but you guys see like this is a clear um, look of the product and then this is white so definitely a little bit different but they're both the same um, with the consistency and everything I do love this product thank you guys so so much for watching this video I really do appreciate you guys um, and see you guys till next time bye